Sister, we're back with I Have Declared It Episode 4 for this fucking road to DMC5. Now the rules of this go as simple. I'm pretty much posted straight Devil May Cry content. Like canologic canon canonological whatever order canon the shit is in the series, I'm posting it. And I'm undecided on whether or not that's going to include the anime because of, like, lawsuit reasons. But I might still because it's canon and it's cool as fuck. Pretty much in every video I have a fucking bong rip, in case you haven't noticed. But... So, what's going on right now is I'm just gonna purchase some shit. This is gonna be a short, short one, short fucking, short mission. Rebellion, let's get overdrive. Items, no. You remember this play? Yeah, I remember coming here. Mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And they've always been at war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest, Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant. His blood brother, Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between that is angel my and fucking demon foam was background for so long. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was in prison for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Damn. Look how the angels flipping people off. Mundus believed that only one child was born, but there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons, the Rebellion for Dante, the Yamato, for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad. Yes. And you got someone behind you. Of angels and demons. Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the demon king. Good. How? Spotter. Fucking demon collaborators. Fucking demon collaborators. I'll find will get you out. Stand firm. I still today don't know if that was like a demon or like some dude possessed as a demon that Virgil just fucking killed.
just fucked up my rank, buddy. Let me get you. I got overdrive, right? I wonder if he does them automatically. Dante, the gateway's ready. Come on. Practice that. Okay, cool. I practiced it. Dante, over here. No oh, fucking bullshit. Can you get across? I'll have to find another way. There's a key, a gate, and three lost souls. We're just pretty much gonna say fuck any enemies that come up, and if they come up straight up to like the face, we'll just fuck them up. I don't know how to feel that that entire area was like devoted to finding one soul. Combo so fucking awesome he didn't even touch the ground. There's another soul around here somewhere I can hear him. Exhaling. Another blue rose. Whoa. That was some bullshit. Now we could totally do the fucking time. After this, I guarantee every single mission 
is going to be way faster because this is going to be my primary mode of transportation. Is there anything of interest over here? No. Nothing of interest there. Getting the hang of this. I still think it'd be sweet if that was Sparta. And like every little thing you found like transported you to his fucking well, hole. What are you doing with you? On my way. And then that's the game. Tempted to totally the skip this cutscene because it's useless. The world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder, a human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls, and he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation, a global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, virility. The demons have spiked it. It's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's lobotomy in a can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate. A conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurt, 